Good morning, everyone. This is Ida. I have a project share, you guys. I got up really early this morning. And uh, normally I do, but lately I've been tired. But today I got up really early and thought, well, I'm going to read scripture for a little while. And, um, and then I'll go see if I can get some of my work done. And uh, this is what I created, you guys. I made a loaded envelope. Now, th this bow right here, I hope you guys can see it. This bow I just got in the mail. Let me grab it real quick so I can show it to you guys. Is um, I got it on, um, on eBay. It's this die right here. That's what, this, what it looks like on the back. And I got it on um, on eBay, and I think it was around twenty dollars free shipping. It did take a little bit to come in, but it cuts beautifully because I used it on this um, really chunky glitter uh, paper that I hauled the other day. On top of it being pretty sturdy, you know, it has the chunky glitter on it. So, and it cut it beautifully. Now this is what um, this is the mint color one that I had picked up. And I think it works very well for this uh, loaded envelope that I created. Now we have a pocket here, an expandable pocket because it has the gussets. And then I have another pocket here. It doesn't have gussets, but it does have a hinge. So it's not so glued down that you can't add something to it. And then we have the inside of the loaded envelope right here. And then in the back, I added another pocket, you guys, with a uh, gusset as well. Um, I, I absolutely love it. Um, here's that pink fur that I had bought. The only thing I wouldn't do, the only thing I would do different, should I say, is that, um, the only thing that I would do different is not at the fur up here, because once you start filling it up, this fur is covered up and you don't even see it, guys. So if, if I had to change anything on here, I would change, um, I wouldn't put any, I wouldn't waste the fur up here. But down here, I absolutely love it. But it does uh, shed a lot, you guys. So if you're allergic to stuff like that, then I wouldn't recommend that you get it. But if you're not, uh, have at it. It's beautiful. I absolutely love it. And after I had um, put the edge here, now this curve right here, is the dies that I got from uh, Little Darlings. Remember those LDRS um, dies that were $2 and change? Well, this is one of the dies that was $2 and change. And I use this one right here um, to give that the curve right here to these pockets. Now, if I wanted to, I could add like the snow text and make it look like snow hills, but I really didn't want to do that. One, I don't want to wait for it to dry. And uh, by the time you put everything in there, it will be covered up anyway, unless you put it on the edge of the bottom pocket, that the, tr the edge doesn't get covered up. And that's why I adhered this bow right here, because I know it's not going to get covered up. Had I put it somewhere up here, it would have been covered up. Now, this just looks like a typical envelope, but if you see right here, I have a little gusset right here, you guys. I gave it like maybe an eighth of an inch gusset right here. And the reason for that is in this loaded envelope, I want to include die cuts. So what I did is I added the extra flap right here. So all the front pockets are adhered to this flap. And, um, and here's some pockets, you guys, where I can put in my die cuts and I don't have to worry about them getting uh, crushed or or wrinkled or bent or anything and I didn't really give it gussets here I did give it hinges but not gussets so I'll still be able to put you know quite a bit in the both of these pockets but um, not you know I didn't give it hinges because I only gave it like an eighth of an inch gusset right here in between because really you know the die cuts I'm they're gonna be flat so that's what I did there, you guys, but I absolutely love the way this looks. Let me see if I can lift this up a little bit, you guys. Um, let me see. Move this over some. So Because I want to fill it up. 
I want to show you guys. There's only one thing in here that I didn't share with you guys. These are actually from my first envelope and they're going to go back into the first envelope. But I just wanted to show you this envelope and I want to show it to you already loaded up. So the only thing that I didn't show on my previous video that I did make the snowmans that I did on my on my memory decks card I did make them and put them in here as embellishments this one has the printed paper with the music notes and this one was just white paper that I uh, that I um, colored in the hat and the, um, the scarf and that's the only different and I didn't add the pom-pom trim I actually added the original uh, die cut that went uh, the scarf die cut that went with it so but I added these as an extra embellishment so whoever receives them and they want to add these two tags or something they definitely could so let's load up this envelope you guys so we can get a good idea of what it looks like now I because these are really puffy I like to put them in here in the in the big pocket in the main pocket up here now I don't have anything that's going to go in here so far because I didn't cut out any die cuts. But um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. These, even though they're very, um, you know, they're, they're kind of a half an inch thick. So they're kind of dimensional. They still go very well in the pocket right here, you guys, because it has the, um, the gussets on there. And then I have these which are the thin ones. Now I'm going to leave these for last so I can show you uh, how they, what, you know, how they're going to fit inside. Let me see what I got in here. Okay, right here is that tag that I had made. Um, and still I haven't put nothing in the little envelope, you guys, because I've really been slacking, to be honest. So that fits back here in this pocket. Um, you know what? Let me switch them around. I kind of like to stagger where it's thick. So here's the tag. There's the snowman. And um, let's see. Here is the uh, memory decks card that I can put in here. Now, remember I told you I like to stagger when it's thick. Since these are thick in the center, but this is thick on this edge, then I would probably try and scoot it in here somehow where it would. Well, it doesn't work, you guys. Because I gotta tuck it in. Mm, let me see. Can I tuck it in somewhere? Uh, that looks. That might look good. I don't know, you guys. Maybe not. So I'm gonna tuck this in right here because I do want the snowman to show you guys. Okay. So uh, right here in this pocket back here. I can tuck in these uh, envelopes that I made. Remember, we have a pocket back here. Okay, you know what? Let me take these out so I can show you. Remember, there's a pocket here and a pocket here. Uh, sorry, guys. So we can actually add these envelopes in here. Um, and I do have other things that can go in there, but I'm not going to put them in there because I want to show you what I'm going to do on the inside, what the purpose of the inside is. Then I would put these here. And I would add this one here. Now, you still have room to play, guys. I don't know how to do this one, guys, because it's it's so bulky on the tummy side that I don't know how to put them in there. I'm just going to put it in like that, you guys. But look at how super cute this is looking already, you guys. But let's open up the inside, you guys. Let's say that I wanted, you know, that I had extra die cuts already cut out. Now, these normally will go inside the front pocket. But see the pocket here? I could actually just, um, here are the cups that I made. The little uh, cocoa cups that I made. I can slide those in here because those aren't very dimensional. Here's the, um, those other pieces that I have, the crochet pieces can go in here now this is kind of tall so I really wouldn't put this in here I would put it somewhere else so I'm not gonna put this in here but I will put the cocoa ones in there and let's close it up this I still need to put in a bag and I still haven't put my information in the back you guys because I've just been slacking so I'm gonna go ahead and put these in this back pocket back here so look at how beautiful this looks you guys now I had made a, um, I'm sorry for my mess, you guys, that's here, but 
uh, literally I just finished this uh, envelope. That's why I have all these little trims here. I had been playing with another die set that I bought you guys, and um, and this little stamp uh, came in that in that uh, stamp set. There's no dies to this stamp. It's by Claire Joy, and uh, the reason I bought it. One is because of the pattern that's on this cup. It's very similar to a pattern that is on right here. That's on the Santa Baby. Even though this one is cross-stitch hearts, this one is cross-stitch uh, um, snowflakes. But it looks very similar, you guys. So that's why I um, I bought the stamp set. Also, I like this little uh, sa um, sentiment. It says, May Visions of Coffee Beans dancing your head now i had a real hard time with this card and i'm going to tell you why because i believe that this paper is very elegant and the fact that they combine something that's uh very elegant and more realistic like the bird and the wreath and the roses and then they com combined it with a uh, cutesy or playful like this santa um like the snowman like the macaroons and all those Things that to me are kind of playful, like um, the little houses right here, for example, with the trees. To me, that's really playful. So I had a hard time uh, designing this. But what I did, I put, I printed out this die set, this stamp set came with the coffee beans. So I uh, stamped out some of the coffee beans and I, um, I put them on fishing line. So it's monofilament line that you use for fishing, the thinnest I could find. So you wouldn't really see the strings on it. But I want it really for them to dance. And the, the fishing line is kind of stiff. So they really don't dance, you guys, uh, unless you mess with them. But, you know, I really want it there to be movement. And there isn't. And um, then here's one of my uh, little uh, poinsettias that I made out of um, that uh, fomeran. And then here's some little pine needles. And here's that um, holly in the um, copper foil paper. I was trying to remember. And I even punched out some of the little branches in the copper paper. But it was really thick. And I was able to cut it out. But I really didn't want to continue to do that. Because I love that punch. And I didn't want to ruin it. And I have ruined punches. Trying to force it to cut something that it wasn't made to cut some some paper that was really thick. So I didn't want to ruin it. So I only cut two and I, I quit while I was ahead, you guys. And then I added the little sequence mix that my friend Nisha gave me into the center. Now, I haven't painted the tips of this poinsettia. And the reason being is because I ordered some ink and a uh, paint and it hasn't come in. And I want to try it on here. If it doesn't come in, then, of course, I will tip the uh, paint the tips with the copper color. Uh, I didn't put any sentiment on the inside. I just kind of left it blank. And I did cut out an ornament uh, shape right here. But it could be any shape. I just wanted to something round. So that's what I did. And I didn't do anything on the back yet. I didn't do anything on the back yet. But uh, since I have a pocket in the back of my envelope, as long as your card is smaller than your envelope, so keep in mind that if you want to put a card in here, then it's got to be uh, more narrow than um, the um, the envelope. So this card, you guys, actually fits right in there. If I wanted to gift this card to uh, whoever's receiving this envelope, this card would fit right in there, you guys. And I didn't even decorate the back yet. But I just wanted to share it with you guys. Then, of course, right here, we would just tie it up. Um, I'm going to do a tutorial on this envelope. It was very easy to make. Um, yeah, you got to use your brains a little bit. You know, early in the morning, I don't know if that's a good idea. But it wasn't too bad. But I did all the work for you guys. So maybe, maybe, maybe I can do a tutorial for you guys. So anyway, here's that... Um, seam binding just a very pale pink seam binding that i um that i used to and i layered it in between the papers that way i could tie it and it wouldn't come undone but look at this beautiful mint bow in the front you guys how pretty is that let me see if i can move some of these uh papers out of the way now um i had seen i don't know if it was scrap diva 29 or happy mail queen um ah, 
I'm, I don't remember. I'm going to have to look. But they had, uh, they made a tag. And then they, um, maybe, maybe it was Erica who is Scrap Diva 29, I think. Um, and she made a tag, you guys. And she wrapped, she put some bows on it. And then at the end of the tag, let's say this is the tag. And she added bows on the tag. And it was a stitch tag. And then she punched out half, like, thumb uh, pieces out of here. Like, half circles. And what she did is she wrapped some ribbon around that. So, I kind of want to do something like that. I want to add some, some more bows. And then some, maybe some of this... Uh, this ribbon right here because this green right here is pretty close to the green that is on the um on the paper even this would make pretty banners you guys um but i want to add some of this ribbon to give us a as you know a goodie and i can actually put it inside the flat pockets and and some bows as well and you know i want to cut out some of these bows and just uh not fix them up because i don't want them to get crushed but, you know, die cuts where whoever receives them, they can put them together. But I do want to use a uh, specialty paper where, you know, when they get the bow and they put it together, it's already beautiful. You don't have to color it. You don't have to do anything to it. But this is the, the second loaded envelope that I created. But as you can see, guys, right here, you see a little bit of the fur peeking out. But if I was to put another package in the center there, you wouldn't be able to see anything. Let me grab something here. I know I had something up here a minute ago. A package of, oh, right here. Let's say, for example, if I was putting these stickers in here and I put them right here in the pocket as an extra goodie for the recipient, you wouldn't be able to see the fur at all. So that's why to me the fur in the center is a waste unless you're gonna leave a gap like that where the little fur just peeks out, then that's super cute. But look at how cute this is, you guys. And I hope you can see it all because my phone, I know I have it pretty close, um, but that's what it looks like, you guys. I hope that you like this envelope, you guys, and I'm going to hopefully pull out my camera and do a tutorial on how to put this envelope together because, you know, these things take a little time, and it didn't take me that long, guys. After I stopped making mistakes, you know, because it was so early in the morning, I did waste a couple of papers, sheets of paper, but that's all it was, paper. It didn't really go to waste because I added, added it in the pockets all that. But I have pretty much already figured out um, how to do it, um, what size to cut and all that good stuff. But look at how cute, you guys. See this pom-pom trim right here? That is the color that's in the Santa Baby paper. Um, and it also has like a mossy green, a light moss green. So, uh, this one is the Little Dark, this green that I bought yesterday at, um, where did I get it? Was it yesterday or the day before? day before at um, um, Michael's. The, the pack that had, uh, the, the pack of paper was, is a little too dark. But the ones that I bought individual sheets, those are closer to the green that's in the paper. But and this too is is pretty good. But this kind of picks up the dark that's in here, and will also combine with the mint green, the baby mint green that's on the pom pom trim and the paper. What do you think, guys? Super cute, huh? So I only got a few more. Of <laughs> I got a bunch more of these to make, and I haven't made any embellishments. But these, you guys, and um, my friend Mig is getting the first one, and then. Um, I hope to work on several. See right here, this is actually a little open, but because I didn't really tighten it, if I really tighten it, then it will be shut completely. You won't have that gap in there. I just didn't want to um, tie it too tight right now because, you know, I'm just showing it. But it's really nice, you guys. It's really, really nice. I really love the way it came out. So I hope you guys try this and... Um, you know, put up an envelope, get an envelope, uh, you know, and do something nice for someone. Just pass, you know, bless somebody with it. And believe me, it will mean a lot to them. Thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, I hope everyone has a great day today because our day just started. 
my God is good and he blessed me with life today. And if you're watching this video, he blessed you too. So thanks for watching you guys. Bye.